You are watching DIY by Nikki Foster. Hi, I'm Nikki Foster. Yay! And on this channel, I post budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Budget friendly and inspiring ideas. Like this, and this, and also this. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick and easy DIY project featuring this plain IKEA kids table that I'm gonna be turning into an upgraded stylish piece of furniture. And just so you know, this whole set is only $29.99 at IKEA. There are so many inspiring IKEA kids tables hack ideas online, especially with kids furniture. This is a project that has literally been on my to-do list for a minute, but I'm glad I'm finally getting around to doing it. So stick around for this quick and easy tutorial. So let's get started. I start by taking apart the table and chairs. I have to admit, this is one of the easiest IKEA items to take apart and put back together. If you don't own this IKEA table and chair set for your kids already, you can totally buy it at IKEA and do the same process before assembling it. Remember, this is something I had owned, so if you're not in this boat, you can totally skip the step of reassembling and cleaning. Alright, so I got all my pieces. I'm going to clean this off and then go to the next steps. For the screws, I place them in a plastic Ziploc bag together so I don't lose them. Because there was some dried food on the wood, I'm using Dawn detergent and a little bit of water on a scouring pad to clean the wood. My kids used this table for a snack table, so I wanted to make sure I got all the little parts of food off, especially before painting. As you can see here, the scrubbing pad and Dawn detergent really scrubbed the food and markings from the wood. Please excuse my floors, these are going to be getting a makeover as well in a separate future video. You guys know how meticulous I am. When I noticed that the crevices had eraser shavings and like crayon particles in it, I could not help but to clean it. So all I did was just take a Q-tip to get into this part to clean it out. And I'm cleaning the actual tabletop as well. And now I'm laying down a clear tarp outside. And now I'm just laying down the wooden pieces from the table and chair set. Note that I am leaving spaces in between the wood pieces so that I can spray the sides as well. So normally I would use my spray gun, but I wanted to see if spray painting the wood would offer the same feeling as paint. So I am using a Rust-Oleum spray paint. This Rust-Oleum spray paint has primer in it, so I am not using a separate primer. When spray painting, you should move your arm across and down in a continuous motion. This allows the spray paint to spray on evenly so your project is not blotchy in certain areas and so it does not leave any drip marks. Here is an up close view of exactly what I'm talking about. This is how the first coat looks. I let that dry for 15 minutes and come back to spray paint the other side. After about 15 to 30 minutes, I come back and turn over the wood so I can do the back of the pieces. While the coat on the back is drying, I'm going to be spray painting the screws with this rust metallic spray paint. And if you guys don't know, this is like the best gold color to use if you are spray painting anything gold and you want that real shiny gold look, this one is the one to use. Once everything dried, I came back to my kitchen and reassembled the table. I did use tack cloth to wipe off the furniture just in case any bugs or any dust or anything like that settled on it while it was drying. And look how cool the gold screws look against the black on the table. So for this part, I'm actually going to be upgrading the chairs. I'm using a high density foam. This comes in a two pack and I'm also going to be using some fabric. So this part is pretty quick and easy. First, I'm going to be placing the top part of the chair on the high density foam. Then I'm using a black Sharpie so that I can mark in the corner notches. Then I'm drawing a line from the inner corner notches. I messed up the first line, but please notice I did fix my mistake with another line. I'm using the chair cover as a guide to make the lines, but you can also use a ruler. Next, I'm cutting the lines. I'm using scissors. Large scissors for this project works best. Now for the fabric. I laid my fabric out. I placed a high density foam around it and cut the amount of fabric I would need to cover the foam. The measurements ended up being about 23 by 16 inches. So now I'm just gonna reassemble the chairs. This fabric is on like the thicker side. It is not really thin like those thin cotton fabrics. This is a thicker fabric that I found by the home decor section in Joann's. I wrapped the foam with the fabric and fold the edges over. I use E6000 glue to secure it. 
And then I use some painter's tape to just make sure it all stays secure. This part won't be seen at all. Then for the last step, I use the E6000 glue again and make squiggly lines on top of the chair. Then I place the fabric covered high density foam on top. This creates a nice upgraded seat for the kids to enjoy. And here is a reminder of what the table looked like before. And here's what the upgraded Ikea kids table looks like now. Before it was super simple with the wood look and plain chairs. Of course mine had food on it, but <laughs> it's clean now. It looks really good with the black paint, gold screws and fabric covered chairs. I hope that this DIY tutorial inspired you to try something like this on your own. As you guys can see, I decided to do some Halloween themed decor on my wall. These are plastic 3D bats and they were like so easy to put up. Um, I'm gonna make sure I put the link to these in my description box. Um, also, just a little bit of info. Um, I was thinking of kind of doing something permanent on my wall, like some wainscoting or something else on my wall. But I'm actually glad I didn't do anything yet because it is fun to interchange like different things and different elements on the wall. Um, you know, for like the holidays and birthdays and stuff. So that is so cool. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. I'm always in my comment section, so do not be afraid to reach out. If you like this tutorial and want to see more inspiring DIY ideas like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it, of course, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.